Hey, watch this. Important announcement today regarding the Bible and the Ten Commandments. My staff has been looking at Oklahoma statute. We've been looking at Oklahoma academic standards. And it's crystal clear to us that in the Oklahoma academic standards, under Title 70, multiple occasions, the Bible is a necessary historical document to teach our kids about the history of this country, to have a complete understanding of Western civilization, to have an understanding of the basis of our legal system, and it's frankly, when we're talking about the Bible, one of the most foundational documents used for the Constitution and the birth of our country. We also find major points in history that refer to the Bible, that reference the Bible. We see multiple figures, when, whether we're talking about the Federalist Papers, constitutional conventional arguments, and Martin Luther King Jr., who use it as a tremendous impetus for the civil rights movement and tie many of those arguments back to the Bible. It is essential that our kids have an understanding of the Bible and its historical context. So we will be issuing a memo today that every school district will adhere to, which is that every teacher, every classroom in the state will have a Bible in the classroom and will be teaching from the Bible in the classroom to ensure that this historical understanding is there for every student in the state of Oklahoma. Now this is what I'm talking about on how a nation will change. This is what I'm talking about on how your neighborhoods can be that neighborhood that you will feel safe in, them schools that you will feel that your children will be raised and taught properly in. This is what God is talking about when he say, I can heal your nation. And this is what it is for believers to try to realize. We need to have this mindset when it comes to voting. We need to have this mindset of when it comes to who's going to rule over our nation. Who is talking about the king of kings representing their hearts and minds while they lead? And if they're not representing Jesus as their leader, they don't need to be our leader. Or we definitely don't need to be casting our lot to make them our leader. Only those who's going to say we as a nation need to humble down repent of our wicked ways, turn our faces to the King of Kings, then our lands will be healed. Then our prayers will be answered. So I applaud this dude. This is rare. This is rare, but I applaud any man or woman who's going to step up in the, in the faces of the nations, in the faces of people, and say, we're going to bring the word of God back into not just to be readers of it, but to be doers of it and make a demand about it. So that's what I'm talking about. If you want your city to be right, this is what it is right here. This is the start. All it takes is to humble thyself, turn from your wicked ways, and then your father, then our father. Father will heal our lands. Then our father will, will, will destroy the murdering that's happening in the cities. Then our father will stop the sinful, the abominations that's happening to our children, that's happening to the adults, the foolishness that's going around. But until then, continue to enjoy this foolishness that we see day by day.